Your prodigal or kingdom spouse is coming to their senses. Your prodigal or kingdom spouse is coming to their senses. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. Your prodigal or kingdom spouse is coming to their senses. And this word is coming to us from the book of Luke chapter 15. From verse 14, from verse 14 to verse 19. I read, and when he has spent all, there arose a mighty famine that in that land, and he began to be in want. And he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into his field to feed swine. And he would fain, and he would fain have filled his belly with the husk that the swine did eat, and no man gave unto him. And when he came to his senses, he said, How many hired servants of my father's house, of my father's, have bread enough, and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and, and before thee, and am no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of your hired servants. Hallelujah. God began to talk to me today. And give a prophetic word for someone saying, your prodigal or your spouse is coming back to their senses. And this word is coming to someone. Your relationship was in a good place. Your marriage was in a good place. But all of a sudden, your spouse or the person you love left you. Something went wrong. This is the story of the prodigal son and it tells us the prodigal son, he was in the house with the father. The father has everything like he's saying here that even the servants of the father have enough surplus to even let go. of. He had everything. The father was so good that despite the fact that he was a younger son, he asked for his inheritance and the father gives it without even thinking. But then he left the house. And I'm wondering who leaves the place of comfort? Who leaves? It's not like he travels somewhere and then he kept being in connection with the father. He left the house, went and started acting crazy, started squandering money with the, with, with, with the, with the harlots and all. Who leaves the place of comfort to go live there? Who lives when the devil wants to destroy you? He separates you from your place of covering. He separates you, he separates you from the place where you are covered. He separates you from the place where your father can keep an eye on you. When the devil wants to destroy you, he separates you where you are from where your loved ones are. To the place where no one will really care about you. No one can pray for you. No one is watching over you. And when he's doing that, at that point in time, you feel like that is the right decision to do. And the Bible says at some point, the prodigal son came to his senses. He came to his senses. It means that all along he has been acting. Everything he has been doing, from asking of the inheritance to leaving the house to spending money and with the harlots, he has not been on his senses. He, has, he wasn't acting in his right senses. He was acting out of influence. Something greater than him was controlling him. Something bigger than him was controlling him. And when he came to his senses, that's when he realized, what am I doing here? What am I doing trusting God for pig food? What am I doing trusting God to eat what belongs to the pigs? When my father has more than enough, when my father has more than enough, someone your prodigal is coming to their senses. Someone your kingdom spouse is coming to their senses. They casted a spell on them, but they are coming to their senses. 
to do what is right. They are coming back home. They casted a spell on them, but they are coming back home. I came to realize based on this story that it's not every time we are not supposed to hate the famine. Sometimes the famine is needed. Sometimes God needs to allow the famine to come so that we can be able to come to our senses. Sometimes the God needs to allow the famine because if not for the famine, he would never have come to his senses that he might have stayed away for, for good. He might have never come back. But sometimes we need a famine in our lives. Sometimes we need the difficult season. Sometimes, Kala Zibarasiana Balarushaka. I don't know what has been keeping your prodigal or your spouse wherever, comfortable wherever they are. But based on this, I take it away in the name of Jesus. God is taking it away in the name of Jesus. Whatever has kept them comfortable away from home, God is taking it away in the name of Jesus. Whatever they need to come to their senses, God is granting it to them in the name of Jesus. Whatever they need to come to their senses, God is granting it to them in the name of Jesus. Your kingdom spouse is coming to their senses. I command that spell to be wiped off now. That spell that has been blinding them, it expires now in the name of Jesus. That spell expires now in the name of Jesus. That spell expires now in the name of Jesus. That spell expires today in the mighty name of Jesus. They are coming to their senses and they are coming back home. They are coming to their senses and they are coming back home. They are coming to their senses and they are coming back home. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command your kingdom spouse to come back to you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command your kingdom spouse to come back to you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command your kingdom spouse to come back to you. Your kingdom spouse is coming back to you. Your prodigal husband or wife is coming back to you. They are coming back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. They are coming back to where they are supposed to be in the mighty name of Jesus. No one gets up and leaves their place of comfort. No one gets up and leaves a person that they truly love. No one gets up and leaves where they are supposed to do. No one to, to be. No one gets up and leaves the person they are supposed to be with for nothing. I command that spell to expire today in the name of Jesus. I command that spell to expire today in the mighty name of Jesus. I command that spell to expire today in the mighty name of Jesus. Your marriage is being restored. Your relationship is being restored. Your spouse is coming back to their senses in the mighty name of Jesus. God is permitting a famine wherever they are. Whatever has been keeping them comfortable, I decree it is taken away today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If this word blessed you, then please do subscribe to this channel if you've not done that yet. And don't forget that notification bell. And if you felt like this word was for you, then please, you can, if you feel it, like, you can connect with a seed, you can drop an offering, you can drop a partnership. You can choose to partner with the ministry with Purpose and Marita Bliss. If this channel has been a blessing to you, you might want to partner with us. Just check in the description box. you see cash, paper, mobile money on it. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.